My name is Senor Daly, and today we're going to be discussing the role plays for the Junior Certificate Spanish Oral. You will have learned many role plays in your Spanish class, for which the examiner is, will ask you two, one from Section A and the other from Section B. I am going to play the role of the examiner, and I will ask you my part. There then will be a pause for you to offer your part. For example, in Section A, Task 2, you go into a clothing department to buy a sweater. The examiner will play the role of the salesperson and will start the conversation. So, for example, I will say, Buenos dias. En que puedo servirle? You will then hear a pause to give your answer. Now, note in some role plays, the pupil starts the conversation. So, be aware that if you get a task where you have to start the conversation, you need to be aware of that. Okay, so you ready? Empecemos. Let's go. Section A, task one. You and a friend are visiting a Spanish town and you ask a policía how to get to the tourist office. Your friend doesn't speak Spanish and you will have to explain the directions to him, her, in English. So this is an example of a role play where the student starts by attracting the policeman's attention. Buenos dias. ¿Cómo puedo ayudarle? La oficina de turismo, pues, baje esta calle, tome la segunda calle a la izquierda y la oficina de turismo está a mano derecha al lado de correos. Baje esta calle, tome la segunda calle a la izquierda y la oficina de turismo Esta a mano derecha, al lado de correos. No está muy lejos, a cinco minutos andando. De nada. If you need to, rewind the tape and listen to the dialogue with your role play. Okay, let's try another one. Section A, task two and you want to buy a sweater. The examiner will play the role of the salesperson and will start the conversation. Buenos dias, en que puedo servirle? De que color quería el jersey? Si, sí, los proveedores están allí. Quisiera usted probarse este? Es más pequeño. Vente euros. Okay, how'd you get on? At any time, if you need to revise, rewind the tape and take out the exam script or the role play and listen to the questions and the answers. And then try it again. Okay, so let's move on. Section A, task three. You are a customer in this restaurant. The examiner will play the role of the waiter. Choose a dish from each of the three courses offered and something to drink. Ask for the bill and check if service is included. Hola, ¿qué le gustaría tomar? Son 22 euros. Y sí, el servicio está incluido. Okay, so there are the three role plays from section A. Again, if you're unsure of them at any point, rewind the tape, take out your role play, and follow the script word by word, saying this script out loud with me as the podcast is playing. Okay, so section B, task one. You and your friend are hiking in Spain. You seek accommodation in an Albert Juvenal. Your friend does not speak Spanish, so you have to book in for both of them, both of you. You have to act as an interpreter for your friend. The examiner will play the role of a warden in the youth hostel. 
So the student, you, will start this role play by asking if there are any rooms available for two nights, for two people. Sí, tenemos camas para esta noche. 18 euros por noche. At any time you're unsure, rewind the tape, follow in the dialogue, and start again. Okay, so let's start with section B. Section B, task one. You and your friend are hiking in Spain. You seek accommodation in an Alberg Juvenal. Your friend doesn't speak Spanish, so you have to book both of you in. You act as an interpreter for your friend. The examiner will play the role of the warden of the youth hostel. Okay, so the student starts this role play. Sí, tenemos camas para esta noche. 18 euros por noche. Es la segunda puerta a la derecha. Okay, so how did you get on? Again, rewind the tape if you need to look over your script or role play and follow this podcast again. Okay, so we're going to continue with section B, task two. You're with a friend in a railway station in Spain. Your friend does not speak any Spanish and you are helping him or her to buy a return ticket to Madrid and to find out when the next train is leaving. You have to act as an interpreter for your friend. The examiner will play the role of the ticket clerk at the dispatch of the billetes. Okay, so the student starts this role play. Un billete de ida y vuelta a Madrid, 30 euros, por favor. 30 euros, por favor. A las 11 y 26. Okay, so as last time, if you need to look over anything, rewind the tape. Take out your role play or script and follow it word for word to ensure that you know it. Let's move on. Section B, task three. The examiner will play the role of your Spanish pen friend. You want to know more about his or her school. Okay, so again, the student starts this role play by stating how many pupils are there and whether you think it is a big or small school. Hay unos 500 alumnos. Sí, es bastante grande. Las clases empiezan a las 9 menos 4 y terminan a las 4. Lo que más me gusta es la historia. No me gusta nada el inglés. Depende. Algunos son un poco estrictos, pero en general son simpáticos. Sí, hay un gimnasio bastante grande y cancha de tenis, pero no tenemos una piscina. Okay, so if you need to, rewind the tape and follow the dialogue again with your role play or script. Okay, so there's all the role plays that you may have done in your Spanish class to prepare you well for the examination.